Coming up very shortly, I can announce. Oh, and good. Uh, well, stay there, Professor. Uh, we've got uh, Niels Herrett, Professor uh, at the Department of Chemistry, University of Copenhagen for 37 years, uh, joining us. Quick break. That was a short segment. I'm going to come back with you, sir, talk about whatever you wish. Uh, but what is the establishment going to do as it comes out that those towers were blown sky high? Now, what's going to happen? Where, where's all this going? Stay with us. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. You already know that drinking pure, high alkaline pH water is the most important factor. All right. Um, huge new developments on the flu front coming up when our guest leaves us here in a few minutes. But um, Niels Herod, a professor over in the Netherlands, my parents' favorite place to visit, by the way, in Europe. I've never been to been there, but I've got to get, I'll get over there sometime uh, over there uh, with um, with all the great folks. But, uh, okay, Professor, I mean, in closing, where would you yeah. like to see this investigation go now? Because there's other scientists, other engineers doing the same studies, finding the same thing over and over mm -hmm. again. No way this should have been there. Uh, yeah. You know, w We originally had the thermite hypothesis by Stephen Jones because of the molten metal pouring out of the sides. Uh, because yeah. of the oxidization, the the sulfidation of the steel, uh, the, you know, then he found the little metal spheres that had the exact makeup of a thermite uh, reaction, uh, and then he tested thermate that had that reaction, uh, and and now you've done separate studies. As more and more of this comes out, and then it gets peer reviewed, what is the establishment going to do? Well, hopefully, we'll get the investigation we have all been asking for for a long time. And uh, I appreciate, of course, the news value of the of this investigation. But basically, we're just we're just confirming what has been obvious for a long, long time, as uh, some of us know, that the three skyscrapers in New York were demolished intentionally on September 11, 2001. And hopefully, or oh, I'm sure, absolutely. I'm certain, I can feel it, that, that those who know this is growing by vast numbers every day, thousands of people every day. So when we reach critical mass, it will, uh, it will what, would you, what you call it, provoke an, uh, an investigation. When Unless, that, what, what, yeah, yeah, well, folks are waking up quicker to this than they did JFK. That took 20 years to get a majority. Now it's over 90% in, in the we average We can't wait for that. I, we uh, I was about to, to say, yeah, go ahead. We have to restore, first of all, the uh, the power of the press as an independent institution in our democracy. This is the most important thing, to restore the press. And before uh, this is done, we cannot solve the even larger issues at hand. I agree but with you. I agree, Professor. Yeah. We've got to have the info war. We've got to have the alternative media and the people's voice to tell the truth to ever counter this. That's what we're trying to build here, and we're starting to win that fight. That's why Burmas just walked up and showed me three more hit pieces on me today. They are coming after us big time. So, folks, yeah. pray for us. We're in the thick of the storm here. And, and speaking of that, yeah. Professor, have you gotten any heat from the university or any threats from anybody for what you're doing? No, not really. I mean, uh, the the situation with the university was settled almost a year ago in a we're in a situation where I actually had the opportunity to lay down the facts for my colleagues, and they respect that, of course. So, um, so no, that is not a problem, and uh, no real threats, no, no Good. harassment. And but there's, and I have got, I don't know how many emails since this paper come up, and they are all supportive. It's so nice. If I, let me get this opportunity to whoever has sent me an email to thank him because uh, I cannot answer all of them, but they are 95, 99% supportive. Yeah, same and here. Is, and, mm -hmm. that is, and this is fantastic. I can hardly have time to respond to all of it, and it's boiling in Europe, so I have to concentrate on what is happening around here. And... Um, a professor, it's, it's really moving faster and faster. I can say that to everyone who is concerned about that. Yes, uh, Professor, I was about to say, what, what's the, your new area of investigation now that you have proven independently, as others have, scientifically, oh. that it's a thermite? W w where do we go from oh. here? Oh, there, there's still a lot of things for us to do on the chips. 
One thing is, as we mentioned in the start, we do not know if the thermite acts as what we call an incendiary that is only by the action of heat or if it's an explosive. I, I suppose that both varieties probably were in the towers. And please notice that we are not saying that the towers was brought down exclusively by thermite. All we're saying is the thermite is there. It's still very well possible that conventional explosives were used in particular in the last stages. But to me, it's certain that thermite at least was used to weaken the steel structure because you could see the molten steel pouring out of the south tower minutes before it collapsed. So, so, and this is one action, possible action of thermite. And then there's a variety called thermate, which this guy, Jonathan, uh, uh, wow. called Jonathan Barnett from Worcester Technology Institute, found in the FEMA report. So this is probably also there. In my anticipation, there could have been used a whole range of explosives and thermites for pulling down the towers. And as of yet, we cannot exclude anything. All we can say is that the thermite has been used there, and it shouldn't have been there. And those who put it there should tell us how and why it got there. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we, and then we have to investigate not just from your scientific angle of what's you know what's in the residue, what's in the building, and you, you're not the only scientist who's had these findings. Now, quite a few are doing this. It's just you're very prestigious, and also at a prestigious university, and and, it, and it's in Europe, so there's not as much demonization. They didn't mm -hmm. try to destroy Stephen Jones, Kevin Ryan, oh, yeah. and others. Uh, so they yeah, they yeah. were kind of the icebreakers too. They hit the ice first, uh, and uh, you're still in the vanguard right behind them. But uh, yeah. But uh, no, you know, uh, this kind, uh, this kind of harassment, or what you, we call it, personality killing, around here, of course, I'm subjected to that. But I really don't care. Uh, I mean, it's, I've got grandchildren, six grandchildren, and uh, I'm on their side in this business, and this is more important. And I'm, I'm too old to care for that. No, and, well, uh, you know, that's a great feeling to know you're doing something for the right reasons and for the truth and for your progeny. And so many people are scared and they're frozen in this feeling of fear. They're scared because they're not truly living and, and being honorable. And folks, we yeah. just stop caring and say, look, I don't care. The chips fall where they may. I'm telling the truth. Come hell or high water and I'm committed and that's the end of it. Yeah, but I, I, but I also understand those who, uh, who stay quiet. I mean, they have bills to pay and, uh, and they have a career, very importantly. So um, we should not come down too hard on on, on those who... Uh, I agree with you, but if these terrorists out. aren't brought to justice, the same people that did this are still running things today. They're, they're going to pull new scams. They're pulling a new one right now with this oh, ridiculous yeah. bird flu hoax, pig flu hoax. And so they're going to launch more wars. You know, we have got to... Look, Hitler, as you know, firebombed his own Reichstag, attacked yeah. Poland, saying they, they attacked his military basic Leiwitz. Uh, we know yeah, yeah. that the, the U.S. government stages terror attacks. We know the Russians do it. You know, the public has to be educated. I mean, I have Army Field Manual 2004, Professor. This yeah.